my children woke up at 5 a.m. today, which never happens. I have a headache, and this coffee is much needed. So, I've been up for a while. I have breakfast in the oven, and I'm gonna unload the dishwasher. Try to get some momentum underneath me. <laughs> Usually both of my kids sleep in until I would say at least seven, but Theo is still so young that a lot of days he sleeps in until like eight, eight thirty. Um, so a five a.m. wake up call is like unheard of for us. But they both were really restless last night. I don't want to be like two extra but I want to say it's probably because it's so close to Halloween I don't know but I just always try to tell myself I'm like you know what it is what it is I've been blessed with two really healthy boys who sleep pretty well and like sleep cannot determine my entire day so trying to do little coon trying to do what I can to have a really good day and a good mindset about it. So I just made coffee and I'm gonna sit on the couch next to Belle. He is watching Toy Story. <laughs> Not my greatest moment, but you know what? When your kids wake up at 5 a.m., like if you don't put the TV on, what do you do? Because I can't be doing stuff at 5 a.m. You know? I just roll my face, read my Bible, and then hope I can motivate myself to just get up and get dressed and like, get moving with the day because I feel like the longer I stay in my jammies, the slimmer the chance gets that I'm going to get out of them. Ideally, I would love to like put on workout clothes and work out, but that's just not going to happen if they're both already awake. Um, so maybe later today and yeah, that skin careful. So good to put on. What I really think is happening is I think that Theo is teething and I think Belle just is like almost in the in the phase where he's ready to drop his nap so on the days that he does nap he sleeps weird on the days that he doesn't nap he sleeps weird it's like really hard to figure out so <sighs> Um, I updated the art on our fireplace. I just printed these two from Etsy. I think these prints are from Amazon. But this one says, By grace you have been saved through faith, and it is a gift of God. Ephesians 2.8 and then all the time God is good. And I think they're so cute and it's like, just definitely a lot more cohesive compared to what was up there. It's just funny because I I did this, did this right before I'm about to decorate for Christmas. But I'm gonna light some candles 
and then we are going to have a play date with some friends I think um, I made breakfast so I'm gonna get him to eat and we're gonna take our morning supplements and all of that we're basically starting the day now we've been just chilling on the couch since around like 5 30 You ready for your vitamin? What color do you want today? Hmm, remember just one. Which one did you pick? I just gave Belle his daily multivitamin and today's video is sponsored by Haya. We love Haya. I just did a video with them recently, but you guys, Belle has been on them for about two months now and he loves them. And I don't want to jinx myself, but I do feel like so far we are doing pretty well for it being mid-fall going into winter. I just wanted to be really proactive with his health. Um, most toddlers, most children, most adults even are not getting everything that they need in a, in a day nutritionally. And Haya comes in and makes that so much easier for toddlers because it is packed with essential vitamins, nutrients, minerals, and organic fruits and vegetables all in one little easy to take chewable vitamin. Another reason that I love Haya is it is a chewable vitamin and it is not a gummy and it is sugar-free. All the ingredients are organic and every ingredient has a purpose that's actually beneficial to your body, not just fillers. I feel like most kid vitamins are basically candy and they're gummy and Haya is also locally sourced and manufactured in the US. It was designed by parents for parents of kids who want to get their kids what they need in a day. And let's be honest, like we cannot force them to eat things they don't want to eat. So these vitamins come in and just make me feel like he's getting enough of what he needs in a day. It's a one a day vitamin and you can get it delivered straight to your door. And on your first month, you'll get this really nice reusable glass jar that is slightly childproof. You have to like press to open it. You can customize it with little stickers and he just genuinely looks forward to taking these every day. He actually asks me multiple times a day. It's just a one a day vitamin. And the fact that you can get it delivered to your door is just such a convenience for parents that we need. That way we're not thinking about it. We're not forgetting about it. It just comes. It's a painless, easy task, but something that's very, very beneficial for your toddler's health. If you're interested in trying out Haya, you can use the link in the description box to get 50% off your first month with Haya. And thank you again, Haya, for sponsoring today's video. This is what you want? Yeah. Can you put those crackers back? Mm. Thank you. Okay, it's gonna be loud. I just made a hot latte and our friends just got here for a play date so I will pick up the camera and vlog after they leave. Okay, both boys are asleep. Um, Theo's probably gonna wake up soon because I put him down before I put Belle down. I'm so thankful that they're napping because they got up so early today. Um, and so I'm just gonna try to like tidy up after that play date. We played for like two hours and um, I'm making myself some lunch right now. And then I think I'm going to sit and just like read my Bible for a little bit before I get a game plan for the day. Honestly, it is so freezing out today. So I really want to just take that opportunity to kind of get my house right inside. And like October is coming to a close. So I think that I want to start like prepping up, prepping our Christmas decor. Um, but I really want to minimize the stuff that we have. So I was going to go through the basement and like find donations and stuff. I might take the boys to like a fun donut place after, well really just Bell, after he wakes up from his nap because I have to run an errand anyways. So we'll see what we get up to. Let's pull the verse of the day. I actually already did one this morning because when you're up that early, it's like, give me, give me some encouragement right away. Blessed are they that mourn for they will be comforted. Matthew 5, 4. And you open the you open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living every living thing. Psalm one forty five sixteen. 
I'm still going through my Psalm Bible study and it has been so good. I've been enjoying it and I did a chapter this morning. I honestly, if I get some time right now, I might do that. And I've been back into my Kindle era. I've been reading like some fiction books again um, because I feel like since I'm so much more consistent with Bible study and like spending time with the Lord, I felt like it was okay now. Just for me personally, I was like, I feel guilty if I have all the time in the world to read fiction books, but I'm not reading my Bible. But since I've been like consistently in the word and like loving that, I was like, let's read some fiction. And it's so fun because it's almost like I get to watch a show and then I get to tell Austin about it. Like I read the book and then he wants to know about it. So I started a new one yesterday um, and I finished one last week. So or I finished one two days ago. So yeah, and I'm like filling out I can't even believe it, but I'm already filling out my calendar for November. There's only two months left in this year. That is insane. I distinctly remember saying to Austin, it was after we finished watching a show and it said like the next season was coming out in 2024. I was like, is the world even going to be around in 2024? Like in my head, I could not grasp that number for some reason. Like 2024 seemed so far away and it's like... It's less than 60 days away now. That is insane to me. This is homemade sourdough pizza. I've been making lots of sourdough stuff again. And this pizza crust is so good, but also the toppings. It's just pizza sauce, spicy Italian sausage, rosemary, and fresh like chunks of garlic. It's amazing. It's like my favorite, favorite, favorite. And we've been making it so much, I actually have some leftover crust in the fridge that I'll probably make up another pizza tomorrow. I'm gonna be real, real honest with you guys. This is, this is the current, <laughs> like, storage. I started tearing it apart yesterday of, like, my Christmas decor. I'm gonna go through it because I do like to decorate early, but I know that there's some stuff in there that I'm probably not gonna use, and I would rather, like, have it sorted now. And I really, like our goal is to get this basement area back here cleared out and organized so that we can set up a gym down here. Um, Cause right now I currently like work out either in my room or in the living room and my room doesn't work anymore as a workout spot because usually Theo is in our room in the morning and I don't want to wake him up. And then the living room isn't like set up to be a workout space. So I'd really like to have this space down here set up specifically for it. So I'm gonna do that. My keepsakes from it was my keepsakes from childhood which was so fun to go through I gave all of the stuffed animals to Belle and then I had like my childhood blanket like down to down to my mom saved like my favorite shoe as a little girl we only have one but I'm still keeping it because if I have a little girl it would be the cutest little room decor piece like sentimental but anyways, I cleared that out and kind of got rid of some stuff that I was just saving like from a little girl that like honestly has no meaning anymore, like like notes from friends in elementary school, stuff like that. Um, and then it starts storing some stuff into this tote, but we're making progress. <laughs> Probably does not look any different or better to you guys but I've condensed it so this is our tree this is like tree decor mantle decor um, like Christmas village stuff in these two toes that's why that's so full it looks full but they're just giant boxes so there's really only like five Christmas village things Christmas books keepsakes and you know what 
We don't store things in cute boxes here because I don't have cute totes. But I just try to use what I have. And then I have like one full box of donations. And Theo is up, so I'm gonna spend some time hanging out with him. Did you roll over? are away from their nap so we're gonna go to the bank and maybe pick up a donut then by the time we get back it'll kind of be like time to start dinner prep and stuff it's literally snowing outside today which is just wild i feel like this is the earliest that we've gotten a snow in a long time this new <laughs> they got mangled on the drive here i tore off a piece for Belle. this one was all cute with like whipped cream and a strawberry on top but strawberry shortcake Honey glazed, and then we shared one already that was bourbon caramel. But they're layered donuts, like five layer donuts. I got a just black coffee to have with it. We went to the bank, picked up donuts. It's literally like snowing and raining outside. I think we're gonna paint pumpkins or do something fun. We either are gonna paint them or carve them, but I have to put Theo down for a nap because he only napped for like 15 minutes in the car. <laughs> What's something different we could have? <laughs> Maybe some cheese? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna set up a sensory slash like, honestly not really sensory. I'm just gonna set up like an activity for us to do together. And, like, we'll just do a little fun pumpkin painting activity. I think I'm gonna lay down craft paper and draw a bunch of stuff on the craft paper for him to paint and then also put his pumpkin on top of it so that he can paint his pumpkin. <laughs> Our little setup. This is a glue kit from Love Every with a bunch of little papers for him to glue that I think he will enjoy. He's munching on an apple. I just drew like some candy corn and pumpkins for us to paint. Good job. You like my pumpkin? I like that. Yeah. 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 It's evening now and I thought that it might be interesting to show you guys kind of what it looks like when I do get a chance to work because it's almost always at night and it's almost always late. Um, I'm missing a cord that I kind of need but hopefully Hopefully this will just do the job. Austin is home now and he's gonna sit with the boys for a little bit. I typically just work after they go to bed, but that can be kind of late sometimes. And so I'll usually come in our room so that they can't see me, because if they can see me, then they want me. And I'm eating some leftovers. And I usually start with like emails first, which is usually just like brand deals. I will go through like affiliate stuff that I have to get done or just checking on and then I just recently started doing like Amazon storefront stuff as like another side income and then I'll import all my footage first into my computer and I put it all in like my editor as a rough draft and then I go through and I trim it down and then I go through and I add music and then I go through and I add text when I get to edit uninterrupted it doesn't take me that long depending on the video um, so I'm hoping to like finish this one up. Like I have a video that's ready. I just need to export it. We're gonna get to it. And then hopefully the boys will go down early tonight because they both, as you know, had like a rough start to the day. And I can do like a little relaxing night routine. <laughs> to put 
put the cute baby to bed. Time to shower. I cannot wait. Also postpartum, just postpartum things. I'm gonna use this sugar scrub because my skin is already so dry. Mm -hmm. 